Hello, this is April from Leaf Bear Studio. In this video, I'll show you how to paint colorful planets using watercolors. The paper that I'm using is a 300 gram rough paper. It's a 100% cotton paper that could take watercolor beautifully. I use a small bottle to help me draw these circular shapes on paper. And then I paint the circle with clean water. Notice that I did not paint the whole circle with water, but leave a small gap near the edge. So when I drop in the first color, I start from the edge and let it flow into the wet area in the center. This way, the color would be more concentrated around the edge and more dilute as it flow into the wet area in the center. And this would help to create the 3D look. Now I'm adding in a second color and let them mix on paper. You can see how the colors are flowing into each other and mixing naturally on paper. I'm adding in more concentrated paints at the edge to enhance the color and let it flow naturally. As the paper is still wet, we can continue to add more colors to it. Just be sure that the paint we add is more concentrated to avoid a back run effect. Here I'm adding in another color. I continue to drop more concentrated paints to it because I want the lower part of the circle to be darker. And I just let the paint flow naturally towards the center. This completes the first planet. Let's try to paint another one. Again, wet the center of the circle first. I brush it over a few times to make sure that the center is moist and there isn't any water puddle on it. Now I'm painting in the first color, again starting from the edge and let it flow into the center. Watching the paint flow and mix on paper is really relaxing. Now I'm moving to another part of the circle and using the same method to add in the colors. Now I'm dropping in a second color. Painting from the edge again and let it mix naturally into the wet area. See how the color mix with the first layer? Creating this interesting color and texture. I continue to paint in the rest of the circle. And this complete the second planet. I'm going to turn up the speed and let you see how I paint the rest of the planets using the same method. This is a really fun exercise to practice the wet on wet technique in watercolors. You can experiment color mixing on paper and find out what color combinations you like best. I would recommend using two to three colors to paint each planet. Using too many colors could make the color looks very muddy. Also, it's better to have one main color as the base color. It's easier to compare the effects of color mixing this way. For example, these two planets both have copper blue as the base color, but the previous one I add in Persian blue and permanent rose, and in this one I'm adding in azo orange and burnt sienna. You could get creative and test out the color combinations that you would like to try. You could also use tissue paper and salt etc. to create special textures on the planets to make them look more interesting. I didn't use these special techniques in this video as I want to just focus on color mixing. I might do a separate video on special techniques if you think it's a good idea. Let me know in the comments. I'm 
I want to show you a closer look of these planets that we have just painted. Look how beautiful the colors are. Now let's continue to paint the rest of them. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. If you decide to give it a try, do tag me in your photo. You can use the tag Leaf Bear Art Demo. If you like my video, please remember to like, share, subscribe. I will have a new video upload every Thursday. See you in my next video. Take care.